hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is lilian obianigwe and i'm a faith-based content creator based in nigeria you are highly welcome to this video so today i'm going to be talking about taming your tongue yes you heard me right taming your tongue because i got to realize that the tongue is one of the most highly underrated parts of the human body that humans fail to make use of in the right way they 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 they, 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 they seem to be using it in a way that is not pleasing to the lord they seem to use it in a way that is not pleasing even to man they use it in a way that is not pleasing they, they, before they use their tongue they don't reason before they use their tongue they don't think because normally before you say a word before you say something you need to think about it you need to think about it before you say anything because so many people they fail to know how to use their tongue to talk they don't talk before many people in fact they talk before the listen no you don't do that you don't talk before you think you think before you talk and look at what the word of god says in james chapter 3 from verses 8 it says but no human being can tame the tongue a restless evil full of deadly poison with it will bless the lord and and father and with it we cause men who are made in the likeness of god for the same mouth come blessing and cursing my brethren this ought not to be so does a spring pour forth from the same opening fresh water and brackish can a fig tree my brethren yield olives or a grapevine figs no more can salt water yield fresh i want you to know something it is the word of god that says it in james chapter 3 that the tongue is unruly evil i am reading from the revised standard version the tongue is unruly evil that's what the new king james version says the tongue is full of evil look he said a restless evil how can a man's tongue be a restless evil you use your tongue to talk to somebody anyhow you use this your tongue that you are using to go to church every sunday every week, uh, weekday you will go to the church you will pray with your tongue you will sing praises to god with your tongue you will you will use it to even bless the name of the lord with your tongue you will use it to make supplications to god with your tongue and it is this same tongue immediately you leave the church you have forgotten yourself you are forgotten that this same tongue that I used to bless God a few minutes ago, I am using it to insult my fellow man. I am using it to insult people. Why? And the word of God says that this tongue is a restless evil. Full of deadly poison. Do you know that your tongue, you can use it to cause somebody to even want to commit suicide? Do you know you can use this, your tongue, to make somebody to think about their life? This is your tongue that you are using to bless God. You can also use it to curse someone. And you will use it to make someone to feel bad about themselves. When you talk about low self-esteem, how did low self-esteem come? How do people go through depression? It is through what they hear people say about them. Most of the depression that people are having, it is by what somebody has told them with their tongue. You need to be kind with your words. You need to be kind with what you say with your mouth how can someone's tongue that was being created in the image and likeness of god god used his tongue used his mouth to say let there be light and there was light let everything let us create man in our own image and likeness everything that was created in the old heads was created with the mouth with the tongue with god's mouth and the word of god says that we are created in the image and likeness of god so how can you use this your mouth that you can use to prophesy great things into the life of your of, of people around you into the life of that your colleague into the life of your boss into the into your own life how can you be using it to insult people how can you be using it to curse people how can you be using it to make someone to go into depression
you should be able to tame your tongue but you cannot do that by yourself you will need the holy spirit because the word of god says but no human being okay no human being can tame the tongue Yes, you cannot tame your tongue. You, what does it mean to tame the tongue? To tame the tongue means to subdue your tongue. To, to tame the tongue means to, to, to reduce your tongue. To tame the tongue means to, to make your tongue not to do, do what it is supposed to do as a human being. You know, while we are on earth, we should not be living as though we are humans. Because once you have received Christ, you are in your glorified body. When you have received Christ, you are supposed to know that you are no longer a human being. But you are already in Christ Jesus, making you to be translated. For the word of God says, who has translated us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. So we are children of light. We should live as one. We should stop using this our mouth that we are using it to that we are using to bless God and to be insulting people. Look at what verse 9 says. Verse 9 says, With it we bless the Lord and Father, and with it we curse man. Who made man? Who who are made in the likeness of God? Are we not also insulting God? I want you to know one thing. Whenever you insult anybody, you are also insulting God. Because if you tell me you have blessed God, if you tell me that you, 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 you praise the name of the Lord and you still have the mind to insult your fellow man, you still, you have insulted God. How, how, because the word of God says it, how you have insulted God because this same man you have insulted is also made in the image and likeness of God. So who are we deceiving? Why are you deceiving yourself? If you are made in the image and likeness of God. There should be no need for you to also use your mouth that was made in the image and likeness of God to insult your fellow man. Tame your tongue. But the word of God says no human being can tame their tongue. So now that you know that no human being, I am telling you, even me, I, cannot, I, I, don't, I cannot tame my tongue. But we are going to do it through the help of the Holy Spirit. It is only God that can help us to tame our tongue. And that is why it's all specific. If you go to other other Bible translations, you will see where Apostle, where, where um, um, James says that you can no human being. This one says no human being can tame the tongue. New King James also says no man can tame the tongue. Truly, you cannot tame your tongue. But when you are under the Holy Spirit, when you are, when the Holy Spirit is inside of you, and you ask the Holy Spirit, what did the Word of God says in the book of Ephesians? That we should not just walk in the flesh, but we should walk in the Spirit. Because when you are walking in the Spirit, you will be able to tame your tongue. And you cannot walk in the Spirit on your own. You can walk in the Spirit by the help of God, by the help of the Holy Spirit. That is the only way you can tame your tongue. I am not perfect. Nobody is perfect. But James 1.17 says that God is perfect. Every good and perfect gift comes from the Lord. Now, if a good and perfect gift comes from the Lord, it means that God is perfect. God is 100% perfect. But no man is 100% perfect. And that is why you would have to, in every way you can, be able to tame your tongue. But how can you do that? By relying on the Holy Spirit. By depending on the Holy Spirit. By depending on your comforter. By depending on the one that can teach you all things. Because before you speak anything, think. Before you speak anything, ask the Holy Spirit. Whatever I want to say, will it be edifying? Will it encourage, any, will it encourage my brethren? Will it encourage my boss? Will it encourage my colleague? Tame your tongue. And you can only tame your tongue by the help of your Holy Spirit.
and now i pray in the name of jesus christ that let the holy spirit give you the grace to tame your tongue let the holy spirit give you the grace to subdue your tongue in the name of jesus i pray that your tongue will not put you in trouble i pray that your tongue will make you to go far because the word of god says that in the book of ezekiel chapter 37 and god told ezekiel prophesy to the dry bones and those dry bones after ezekiel Ezekiel prophesied with his mouth. Those dry bones, they rose again. And those dry bones became a great army. And as those dry bones became a great army, what happened? Those dry bones, when, when, when Ezekiel prophesied again, breath came into those dry bones and immediately they became a living being so in the name of jesus christ of nazareth whatever it is that is being holding your tongue from prophesying good things into your life and into the life of people i bind it in the name of jesus i bind whatever spirit that is stopping you from on from 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 taming your tongue in the name of jesus let the holy spirit guide you and let your tongue be for good and for your own good and for the good of people around you in the name of jesus amen shalom 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 thank you so much guys for watching and i hope that you learned a lot from this short video thank you so much bye see you in my next one